Hi Sagittarius, this is Jess with your weekly general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Sagittarius, I actually did your reading yesterday and it was a doozy. It was all over the place. I just didn't even understand. I mean, I was going to put it up, but then I said, no, I'll wait because someone told me that moon was in Pisces. And I said, well, there you have it. <laughs> your reading was all over the place. And basically it was talking about you guys having this internal kind of frustration like an itch you can't sh scratch. Um, a lot of little things were going on with you guys that you, you can't fix, you can't do anything about, but you weren't, it wasn't settling so well with you. And it brought irritation, but you were still moving about and getting things done, but you were kind of irritated and frustrated, if that made any sense. But it was a lot of little things going on around you. And it was just like, what is going on? This looks much better though. It just basically looks like some of you guys are starting to move into a more sound suffice place. You're going to start working more smarter, less harder, and it may be by force. We do have the big Uranus moon conjunction happening on Halloween day. So I feel for some of you, uh, things may shift in your life, whether it be by choice or by force, where you really start to get more self-focused. Have you guys been feeling that way? Leave a, leave a comment if you've been feeling more like it's about me. And I know being a fire sign, typically it is about fire signs right but i mean more of like i'm going after what it is i want i'm gonna accomplish it i know i could taste it i could feel it i could touch it and it's more of um even knowing how to do it and making decisions that are for your better good and for anyone around you that you need to take care of or be there for it's like knowing what to do almost having like our earth energy even though we're in scorpio season um i'm feeling more of an earthy tone with you guys and for that i think it's going to be much more beneficial home life looks a little bit better so if you were again yesterday looked a little weird with people in your home and how you were feeling on an emotional level but it seems that you're a little bit more stable i do feel like um if people are in your home you're getting along with those people better so that's good uh, you are holding back though and if you have been kind of waiting uh, and I was saying, be careful with spending money because your energy was so all over the place. You're not thinking straight and you may go back and say, why the hell did I do that? Why did I spend that money? Why did I do this? Some of you may already feel this way because it's too late. You've already done it. Right. But I did say yesterday, don't worry, you'll be OK. Whatever money you feel was a loss or waste, it will not be. It's actually going to be for your better good and you'll make that money back. So don't worry about that. Uh, so again, there's a sense of I get a new house, a new move. Now, congratulations for those of you who have moved, but I do see a new move, a new house, something with home stability, building property that's coming up for some of you guys. And it's almost two, four. So for some of you, you're pregnant and buying a home at the same time. Some of you, when you get this home, you're going to have a baby. Some of you, you know, it's something about baby and home. Now, this could just be a new creation business house something like that could be coming for you guys so that's really good and it looks like for me i'm feeling like this new home although it could be now others of you it will be in 2021 where you are purchasing your first home looking to invest in some kind of property is what it looks like so that looks really good and i feel that you're starting to become more and more aware of how you need to go about the planning stages of home business looks good even though some of you may have made um, you may have tried to do something did not work out. Some of you are deciding to go unconventional and go away from the traditional ways of working. It's not working for you and you are going to step out on faith and probably start your own business or do something yourself. Again, leave me a message if this resonates for some of you out there. It looks really good. I feel towards the end of this week, things are going to start taking off. So if you've been waiting for to hear back from people regarding a job, let me look. Yeah, looks like it's going to come through for some of you. You know, yeah, definitely see a job coming through for some of you. It may throw you off for whatever you have going on now. You may feel like, oh, how do I stabilize? You will stabilize. You may not so much care for the place. Some of you now, the job that you have now, you don't care for the place. You're looking for something new. Um, you may... Hold on, I want to see. Okay, this new place that you're going to go into, working a lot. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Even you business owners out there, your work is going to kick up. Even if you say, well, Justice already, it's a lot. It's going to get a lot again. 
So there is that you may not be willing right now to do something completely new because you just have your hands completely full. But I do see new opportunities, new jobs coming for you guys. So that's good. I'm getting into five minutes. Let me get into love because I like to shorten the videos now. So I see some of you taking a leap of faith in a new job is going to be good it's going to work your tail off and i feel for some of you you're closing cycles with particular people some of you are a little bit out of shape out of you know you may feel like you're um you've gained too much weight um something with mother could be problematic with you guys as well so reach out to your loved ones so there's that. Hopefully there's no health issues going on here, but there's some issues with could be health, could be just weight, how you see yourself overall or the growth where you want to be. You haven't gotten there yet. So there's that I've already gotten into it. So now let's get into love singles. <laughs> you know, as we weird. yesterday, I think I was saying something about an ex warning. Um, I'm still thinking of you heavy. You guys had an ex on that was thinking about you guys really heavy. Um, someone now says that they know that they've made a huge mistake. Okay. So this could be someone from your past. Um, I feel for some of you, you are, you could be seeing a couple of people. Mm -hmm. Work may have you so tied down that you can't even think straight about a single life or dating life or social life and people around you, new folks around you. Um, they may not be in the best place either. Although you're juggling and having a lot going on in life and you're really trying to just usher yourself into your new solar return that's coming up for you. I feel for some of you, if you put yourself out there, be careful because you may meet people who are not at all over their ex. You know, this is not the time with all these retrogrades, not the time to be meeting people new and thinking that everything is going to blossom. So there's that. There's a lot of wounded hearts out there, but I feel for some of you, it's an ex that may be thinking about you as well and feeling like they, they made a mistake. Uh, the problem here is that this just may not be your one for those single sads out there. This may not be your one. Again, I feel like some of you guys are really doing well or about to do better when it comes to career finance. And so that's that. Some of you sad men, I'm about to look at it. You're looking a little pissed here. You're a little pissed here. Be careful. Um, hopefully you guys didn't get with the wrong person and there's no STDs or anything like that going on, but you looked a little pissed. Some of you may be out the game right now. If you're juggling, you, you're going to get caught up. So hopefully you, you have that under wraps. You cannot juggle. Sag men, you cannot juggle right now. <laughs> or at least be honest with people and let them know, listen, I'm seeing people. I'm not looking for anything serious. Yeah, you need to focus on your money, Sag men. Yeah, you may not be thinking about really taking people out. You might not even be able to afford it. I feel that um, <clears throat> you have a bit of a chip on your shoulder. You could be very argumentative to people. You may be a little jaded because you may have spent money, time and attention efforts toward people that you may feel like I wasted my money. Uh, there will be somebody that you are interested in. I do feel like you know these people. These people could be from your past and it can get overwhelming. So once you do put yourself out there during this Scorpio season, it could be later on this month into November, you will be overwhelmed by women and um, them coming on to you or being available to you. OK, so you will have your options, but it's short lived. OK. I even feel like if you've been having some money woes, if you put your money and your if you put your mind to it, you can bring yourself out of that. OK, some of you are going to be moving, moving on. And this is such for sad men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sag men, you're not ready to one. Your money is going to improve. So that's a great thing. I feel like you're going to realize through this time apart from somebody that you still love and care for. Uh, that you miss them and that's the person that you really want to be with is an ex-wife an ex-spouse of some sort ex-partner uh, that you really miss that person and you may be wanting to get that person back not the easiest thing to do but it's definitely not impossible some of you are going to want to go back to that person or you know that you need some time before you can go back into the social sphere when you do you could meet someone sag women singles you're giving up on dating uh -uh, i don't give up on dating <laughs> <laughs> you could get some interest and just like um, the men, it could get overwhelming, but I feel your bar is so high. I don't know who's going to be able to jump up there to get it. So you're going to be cutting people off left and right and 
or someone's going to be cutting you off because the expectation is very high. Um, you're not taking a leap of faith when it comes to just dating. You're almost like, I've given up on dating. Yeah, I, I just see you. Uh, no, mm -mm, I don't see anything. <laughs> I'm not going to go down the whole list of why it, what am I seeing to say why? No, mm -mm, it's not going to work. I just don't see anything. Now down the line, then you can get some interest, but you know, I just don't see, I don't see it's happening right now. Not right now. I do feel like you guys would be really busy with work and career. And I feel right now you're coming across very, um, Yeah, out of control. <laughs> it's the card. It's not me. You may be coming across like beyond an alpha female. Like, hell, you're at the point of being an alpha male. Just very um, kind of a lot to handle. So I really don't see anything happening for you right, right now. At least I'm not seeing it for Sagittarius uh, singles. But again, looks like career and stuff is going to pick up. So there's that. Now, couples. Well, I'm going to tell you like this and I... I'm kind of shocked. Yesterday, your reading was saying something about all hell was breaking loose. Today, it's saying that um, the two of you really have a fighting chance. So if you are at the brink of no return with your mate, couples, this situation can turn all the way around. And I really feel like it has something to do with an eclipse of full moon, something, darling, something. A wing and a prayer has come through for you guys because it looks like you're going to work out. Even though you guys aren't happy and I feel... For some of you, you've done all that you can to try to nurture and grow and be patient with your mate. And for some of you, your mate could be going through court issues. Your mate could be going through issues where they feel wrong to some extent. You guys need to settle some things. They may need to settle some things by themselves and it has nothing to do with you. However, whatever this is, that may um, have put a burden on this relationship, but it definitely looks like it's going to get better. Um, and now for some of you, if you are dealing with um, a player of some sort or something like that, things may turn around. It's going to take time. It's like a step-by-step -step process, but things definitely can turn around for some of you. Um, and if you were at the brink of separation, divorce looks like that's turning around too, is what it looks like. <clears throat> you may have thought, yeah, somebody could have been, um, holding back, not communicating, not letting you know what's going on you have had a lot of doubts you or your person a lot of secrets has been going on in this relationship uh the two of you your intimacy is not the way it used to be and i do feel for some of you my condolences if you've had a passing and you know with a spouse or something like that and you some of y'all may be dealing with a third party situation here and it may have been going on since libra season or taurus season since may or september i want to say yeah But it looks like, like I said, there's some type of renewal in this love. There's some type. Oh, yes. There's some type of renewal in this love. Okay. And it, it literally will feel like it's coming out of nowhere. Like, how did this happen? I don't understand um, how this happened. I, I can't even tell you. <laughs> so I'm only human. So this situation looks like it can definitely work out for some of you. This is a general reading. It looks like it can work out for some of you. And you guys have a long, a far more longer way to go. It's going to be up to 10 years this relationship. Absolutely. Even though, okay, I want to see what is this about though? Oh, okay. So Sag, if you was the person that did something wrong and your person put their damn foot down, and if you really want this, they're there for the taking. They're not going, they love you. They don't want to leave this. It would be you that F, that messes this up if the two of you break up, okay? Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I see that you may feel like you, this situation was on its way out. Either you were on your way out, it, they were on their way out. It was about to be on the brink of the d disaster and then it's like disaster diverted. You guys, this relationship is going to be saved. And again, 
it is divine because of you know karmic energy is here so it's divine while why excuse me why the two of you have to kind of go through this cycle again or the the reason why the two of you are going to save this relationship so in the extent that we're going to look at this other person how do they feel about you the relationship the challenges that the two of you face where do they want the relationship to go in the future? What secrets are they keeping? What do they want to tell you to do down the side? What's going to be the outcome? And every two pieces, how do they feel about you? So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box below. If you would like a personal read, click the link to my description, to my, <laughs> click the link to my website. You can set something up for yourself. And if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care. Such circus.